Welcome to our Jummy Podcast, Global Operations on the Go. I'm your host, Therese Snow. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Booty Radawal, Dummy Business Development and Marketing Manager. Booty, welcome. Thank you, and uh, very happy to be here, Zadis. Excellent. Happy to have you. So, Booty, let's start by telling our listeners a little about yourself. Sure. Um, I'm a strategic business development and marketing manager with the Delmia brand of Dasha Systems. And uh, it is my job and my pleasure to be the evangelist for uh, Delmia Robotics, uh, which is a robotics programming and simulation solution centered around promoting sustainability in manufacturing. Fabulous. That sounds, this one's really interesting. I Perfect fit for the show today. So glad you're here. Um, so you are here to discuss sustainability in automotive manufacturing and how robotics virtual twin plays a role. Can you tell us why exactly is sustainability important in automotive manufacturing? Sure. Uh, see, cars are uh, probably one of the most widely u- sold and pervasive engineering creations in human history. You know, I came across a very interesting statistic uh, the other day uh, that an average American goes through eight to ten cars in their lifetime. And it's because it is such a marvelous piece of engineering and also because of the utility that cars are traded at such a massive scale all around the world. Now, of course, it comes at a cost. Manufacturing a car involves several processes, each contributing to GHG emissions. If you were to break down the process in three big steps, uh, it includes, uh, you know, first, extracting raw, raw materials. Second is manufacturing and uh, assembling components. And third is transporting vehicles. Now, mining and processing metals like steel and aluminum and extracting petroleum for plastics all emits uh, greenhouse gases. Uh, during the manufacturing phase, energy intensive processes like welding, painting and assembly line operations, they also release carbon dioxide and other gases. And finally, moving parts and vehicles between suppliers, assembly plants uh, and markets adds to this emission. Now let us just focus on the manufacturing part since that is going to be the focus of our conversation today. On average, manufacturing a single car can produce around 10,000 kilogram of uh, carbon dioxide equivalents. Now, to put this into perspective, 10,000 kg CO2 is equivalent to driving approximately 25,000 miles or 40,000 kilometers in an average gasoline car. Or it is equivalent to the energy consumption of an average American household in a year. And when you multiply this with 85.2 million, which is the number of cars produced in the year 2022, you arrive at the massive scale of uh, emission from automotive industry. And that too, just from the manufacturing phase. I'm not even talking about the user's phase yet. And just to put this into further perspective, um, the emission from the manufacturing of cars, that contributes to 8% of the total anthropogenic emissions. Uh, it means the emissions from human activities such as manufacturing, farming, transportation, etc. Um, as opposed to uh, natural emission such as uh, you know volcanic eruptions and uh, natural decay of organic matter, uh, we can't do much about them. Now coming back to the point, the scale of greenhouse emission, um, greenhouse gas emission from these manufacturing uh, of cars is so large that sustainability automatically becomes a concern and a hot topic in the context. No, absolutely. Those numbers are very significant. I could see where this could um, completely be a hot topic. So it's, that's uh, that's really interesting. Can you tell me, does Delmi a virtual twin, in fact, help automotive manufacturers stay or become sustainable, especially given these significant numbers, as you mentioned? And if so, how? Yes, yeah, sust- sustainability um, is a journey. So you continuously improve and Delmia Robotics is a tool to help you with that. See, before we talk about Delmia Robotics, which is essentially a virtual twin experience-based programming and simulation so- solution, let's talk about the robotic automation first. Fundamentally, uh, robotic autom- automation prioritizes operational efficiency and productivity. It streamlines uh, processes and reduces human error. But it often overlooks environmental concerns like resource consumption or waste generation or carbon emissions. In fact, um, the robotic automation has unintended negative consequences on the environment. 
सो वाइल इट एलिमिनेट सम मैनुअल टास्क रोबोटिक ऑटोमेशन में लीड टू इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन ऑफकोर्स दैट इज द इंटेंट एंड इट कैन ड्राइव हायर एनर्जी एंड रिसोर्स डिमांड्स also uh, robotic auto- automation relies on energy intensive machinery powered by uh, you know non renewable resources and all of this contributes to uh, greenhouse gas emissions and environmental issues in this context you know the concept of robotics virtual twin is a game changer you know by combining virtual simulation uh, with real time data from physical robots uh, robotic virtual twin twin enables analysis uh, and optimization and inf- and and uh, makes possible uh, d- uh, informed decision making um, rvd also uh, by rvd i mean the robotic virtual twin it also enables uh, uh, comprehensive virtual testing analysis uh, and optimization of uh, robotic systems before their actual de- de- deployment in the physical world so by creating a virtual twin of the robot engineers manufacturers uh, uh, all of them can simulate various scenarios uh, they can evaluate performance uh, identify any potential issues and make any necessary improvements without the need for physical prototypes All right, so Buddy, so when you talk about this and you talk about robotics virtual twin and automotive, are you referring to what? To robotics helping with assembly, material handling, painting, or what exactly? Yeah, all of them actually. Have you in fact in fact okay. automotive uh, automotive is by far the most automated industry. You know, just to give you a sense of how much the automotive industry is ahead of other industries, um in South Korea the average number of robots per 10000 workers in non auto industries is 450 mm-hmm. and you know how much is uh, the same number for auto industry what is not it double. It's, it's 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 not double uh, not triple not even quadruple but almost um, five times as many robots wow so there are uh, close to 2200 robots uh, per 10000 workers in uh, auto industry in south korea and and that trend is consistent across all ma- major manufacturing you know economies around the globe so so robotics finds application in many different processes in car manufacturing in welding uh, you know where robots are used to join metal sheets together at specific points using high current pulses uh, you know the process is called spot welding similarly we have arc welding where uh, robots can be used to join uh, metal components with precision uh, robot robots also assist in assembling uh, various components of the vehicle with pre- precision and speed uh, they handle uh, materials efficiently uh, reducing manual hand handling and uh, associated weights based uh, in certain surface processes such as painting or uh, sealant deposition uh, robotics ensure uniform and efficient application also uh, you know with the advancement in ai and computer vision robots are used in quality inspection as well well it sounds like robots are used pretty much in any any aspect here so can you tell me what exactly are the benefits for example of an auto plant using robotics virtual twin as far as sustainability is concerned yeah so uh, so robotics virtual twin technology involves um, creating a precise digital replica of a physical robotic system uh, and its uh, operational environment as well so this digital twin or virtual twin allows for extensive simulation testing and uh, optimization before any physical deployment and this is particularly uh, valuable in automotive manufacturing where efficiency and precision are crucial now uh, this virtual twin helps reduce uh, waste by using uh, this virtual twin manufacturers can simulate and uh, test different design iterations and production processes virtually this helps identify and uh, eliminate uh, potential inefficiencies or design flaws that uh, could lead to material waste waste uh, for example uh, you know virtual simulations can help optimize the amount of material needed reducing excess uh, scrap and rework virtual twin also allows for comprehensive testing and validation of processes and designs uh, which can des- detect errors or defects before they occur in the physical production line this uh, significantly reduces the need for additional materials uh, to correct mistakes 
uh, apart from uh, reducing waste uh, rvt can uh, help in reducing energy consumption also you know through virtual simulations manufacturers can uh, test various uh, robot configurations and motions to find the most energy efficient setups this uh, helps balance energy and efficiency uh, leading to lower en energy consumptions uh, you know during production uh, virtual twin also helps streamline workflows uh, by optimizing the sequence of operations and movement of robots uh, this reduces unnecessary energy use and uh, it enhances the overall production efficiency so does robotics virtual twin actually affect the speed or quality of a manufactured part yes uh, the the robotics virtual twin uh, technology can significantly imp impact uh, you know both uh, the speed as well as the quality of the manufactured parts uh, so um, the rv uh, the virtual twin has uh, you know three fold impact on the speed of manufacturing so one that uh, virtual twins uh, they enable rapid adjustments to process without the need to halt physical production lines so you are doing everything virtually and you don't need to hold the physical production lines and then changes can be tested and refined virtually so there is minimal disruption to manufacturing uh, speed so it reduces the downtime because you are doing everything virtually so you don't need to do it uh, in real world and therefore you know the need to uh, um, you know put everything uh, down is reduced second is that um, the the new production lines or changes to existing lines can be uh, virtually commissioned and uh, debugged before the actual implementation so it can significantly reduce the time required to ramp up production and then finally uh, by analyzing and optimizing the movement and operations of robots uh, the virtual twin can eliminate unnecessary steps and then it can streamline workflows and that leads to a faster production time and then similarly um, the virtual twin also improves the quality of uh, manufacturing uh, so uh, virtual twin ensures that robots are precisely calibrated and their movements are optimized and uh, it leads to higher accuracy and uh, sort of consistency in the manufacturing of parts second is that defect detection at early stage uh, advanced analytics and machine learning integrated into the virtual twin can detect anomalies and uh, potential defects early in the process preventing any faulting parts from proceeding uh, you know down the production line and then finally um, the virtual twin allows for thorough testing and validation of part designs in a virtual environment before physical production begins mm -hmm. so virtual twins can simulate how parts will perform under various conditions uh, identifying any potential weaknesses and uh, you know allowing for any design adjustments definitely sounds like a lot of benefits uh, that's clear and really interesting as well so buddy can you tell me is there anything else that you would like to add that perhaps i have not asked yes uh, one topic that we did not talk about is uh, regulatory compliance so mm -hmm. the virtual twin uh, makes it um you know tremendously easy for manufacturers to comply with the uh, environmental regulation uh, virtual simulations can predict the environmental effect of manufacturing processes and this allows the manufacturers to test and refine their processes to ensure that they meet regulatory standards before implementing them on the production floor and uh, additionally um, the integrated sensors and iot devices in robotics collect real time data on energy consumption um, and emissions and waste and this data is fed into the virtual twin uh, which continuously monitors and assesses uh, the sustainability performance of the manufacturing proce processes and if a process deviates from uh, compliance thresholds the system can instantly alert operators and suggest suggest um, uh, corrective actions um, thereby thereby ensuring that uh, immediate response to potential uh, regulatory issues uh, is given absolutely well it has been a pleasure speaking with you beauty and hearing how robotics virtual twin can make automotive manufacturers more sustainable appreciate it and thanks again for being a guest on the show Uh, thanks for having me uh, Therese it was um, a pleasure discussing how uh, robotics can enhance uh, you know sustainability in uh, automotive manufacturing oh absolutely and thanks to our listeners for tuning in to learn more about Delmay Robotics virtual twin and, and sustainability click on the link where this podcast is posted i'm your host Therese Snow and you've been listening to Delmay's podcast global operations on the go 